it's funny, the book is such a um, beautiful piece of source material, but it, it is short. You know, it doesn't, it lets you fill in the blanks a little bit. And I think that's why we liked it so much as material that we could then adapt, because you could kind of glean from the story that was being told that there were these deeper issues with Lyle and deeper issues with Hector and with the family. And one of them was really, you know, the story of, to us, of Lyle having to kind of find his place in the world. And to us, that really translated into to finding your voice and being loved and being embraced. And that was just a theme that, that spoke to us. Well, we wanted him to be an exceptional talent because that's what Hector looks for is this unbelievable gift in the form of the voice of this crocodile. So we wanted to find a talented performer that could actually fill those shoes, I guess, feet. Um, and in doing so, um, it led us to Sean, because we've always been huge fans of his. He has such an amazing voice, but we also wanted something in the character that had an openness, an innocence, a youth, because that's very much who Lyle is at the stage that Hector finds him in the story. First he finds him very young, then he's a teenager briefly, and then he's the full-scale Lyle. So we needed a little bit of a range um, that felt like, you know, all sunk up with Sean. And, and it was interesting, when we when we talked to Sean initially, he really connected to the character. There were a lot of qualities, you know, everything from needing to be loved and embraced in order to be your best self to, to feeling, you know, he spoke of feeling anxiety about performing, you know, which was surprising because he's such a megastar. But, you know, so I think for him, he really was able to connect to the character. And you always want that in, in an actor. You always want them to connect to the, to the role. So that was great. The choice of making the film a musical was a way that we could bring a lot of story and compress it into the characters' emotional states and movements through music. And what Benj and Justin did was bring these songs forward that actually told a lot of story in very economical ways. Um, and I think that was exciting to us. But also, the ideas were breadcrumbs and clues in the original book, which was that Lyle was a performing crocodile. So for us, the logical place for the story to go was to focus on, well, what does that mean exactly? What's the origin of his performance? What does it feel like for him to express himself through music? And then we obviously found partners in these guys, you know, in creating those songs and bringing that all to life. I think there's just something naturally funny about a crocodile living in your attic and sort of what the wish fulfillment for kids can be with that. Um, he's an imaginary friend, but he's also a very physical character. So I think we wanted to naturally have the story bring some levity in life. Um, the humor and heart, you know, to us was a really important blend. And it feels like that's what we were looking for, is to have this family have the joy of singing and laughter, but also you know, this physical presence of a six foot two crocodile in your house is just going to bring with it, you know, a lot of funny situations and scenarios. And, you know, I think in life, you know, humor and, and pain and, you know, heart and all those things, they kind of are fellow travelers. They go along sometimes even within a day, you can have something really funny happen to you and something really sad. And that was important for us, that mix in the movie. We want people to feel the joy of it, to feel the connectivity between the characters and their own experience. As we said, to feel a little bit of wish fulfillment, like we all wish we had a Lyle in our life. Um, and I think we wanted it, without being corny, to feel positive and to feel uplifting and to not be cynical. There's something about our world, obviously, that is a lot of things about our world that are, you know, it's ever-changing, it's challenging. I think we've all been through hard times, and there's something about putting this kind of a movie out there that, for us, we hope, is just a break from all of that, um, and, you know, a couple hours where you can sit and imagine a world where change can happen in unexpected ways.